All right, hey everyone, Rob here, and in this video we're going to be going over uh, what Ecamm Live has came up with uh, for version 3.5, some of the new improvements. Uh, I'll also post a link down below of all of this stuff. We're not going to go over everything, but uh, hit up on some of the highlights that I think uh, that you guys might be intrigued with. Uh, so one, one of the first ones uh, that a lot of people have been requesting is the scrolling text, right? So uh, how, do you, how do you access that? Well, uh, you, you want to make sure that your overlays window is shown. If it's not, you can... Uh, click this button right here, all right, show hide, and it's right here. Uh, you click on the text, and you can type whatever you want in here, right? So um, I'm going to go ahead and type in another news, uh, dot, 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 and then uh, maybe, right? Uh, so you can, you can put anything that you want in here, uh, and you can make it a, a run-on, and then the, the big thing that you need to do is right here where it says fixed position, there's going to be uh, the style of scrolling ticker. So you're going to go ahead and select that. And you're going to go ahead and hit uh, add. Now, uh, as you can see, it puts a bar on there. Uh, there is no shrinking this or anything like that. It's going to go from left to right, however big your, um, your, your layout is here. Okay. Uh, but that's the scrolling text. If, uh, of course, if you want to get rid of it, you can hit the X. Uh, if you need to edit something, you click the little pencil there and you can go back into the edit mode. All right, so that is the ticker uh, inside of uh, Ecamm Live here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. Uh, some other things in here uh, that they're posting. Um, I don't really have a way to try this out uh, because I don't have the core to test it. But uh, any, anyways, if you take a look at your DSLR, uh, they're saying like uh, Sony's, Nikon's, uh, if you take a look, there's going to be some sort of USB kind of connection port on there. You know, not the HDMI, but the, you know, the, uh, the, the USB, right? And so uh, they're saying you're able to connect that to your computer, so no cam link uh, or anything needed. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, some other things in here is the, uh, for green screen users. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select one that we can actually somewhat test out. So we have uh, this right here, and they introduced the blur background. So this is a, another one um, that's been on their list, right, where you can click this and then uh, take a look. You, you can sort of see that uh, it's blurring the background, you know. Obviously, you can go all the way down to zero, and then you can go full-blown 100%. But it sort of gives you uh, an idea of the range that you can get with the background. So if you're trying to create that focus type, you can. Okay. Um, another uh, thing that they did add is uh, they said they added a video. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, they said it's the tree, uh, the tree one. So we got palm trees. And uh, I believe that was shot on one of their vacations. So um, that was uh, a video ad. And another neat thing that is in here. So I'm going to go to like desktop share mode. If you, uh, if you do have a PDF, for example, uh, this one's like three pages long. But anyways, uh, a PDF. You can use your left and right arrow keys, and you're able to sort of go through them, right? Uh, so this kind of works well for maybe presentations. So if you were to maybe take your keynote that you had, and uh, now you just want to uh, go through it as if it is a slideshow. You know, there's no animations in it or anything like that, but it, it is a slideshow, right? So you, you have that. Now, there are some other uh, minor things uh, that I would say. So let me go back to full screen here. Let me go back to masked edges. Now, <clears throat> if we take a look at um, the, uh, the picture setting, right? So we always have these, uh, the ability to change the brightness, for example, um, you know, temperature and all these, right? Now, what would you, I mean, wouldn't it be nice if you were to be able to just reset this, uh, reach the single one to uh, default? Well, you can by just double clicking. So that's just a minor thing, but it, it's a real nice uh, little touch. Uh, another thing uh, that they put on there that, uh, you know, kind of like is the uh, the recordings, right? So if you are broadcasting uh, and your your saved documents are in the, in the cloud, um, a lot of times, the cloud would try to back up your recordings uh, while while you're broadcasting. So now they are uh, the files are hidden in Finder, so you can't find them. Um, and then once the broadcast is over, it's going to go to that folder. 
So as you can see, there's uh, you know there's a lot of nice new features that uh, they came out with and everything. So uh, yeah, if you guys want, make sure you guys uh, download the update. If you're new to uh, Ecamm uh, Live, make sure you uh, take a take a look at it. Uh, link will be down below as well if you guys wanted to to do the trial and stuff and test it out. But anyways, uh, with that, I'm Rob, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right.